So we swap dogs, this is Bonnie. Bonnie's also Toy Poodle. Tall and skinny, rather than Heather, shorter and wider. So she's not ready for a bath, you can see she's quite curly. She's not got a load of coat, I didn't do them that long ago. But we're going to 7F her. She has little pom-poms again. Not very long because they're always out in the mud. Each sand messes up their coat. So a short pet summer clip if you like. Miami trim if you want to call it something else. So we're going to 7F. I want to clip her. Her back first. Because I'm not bathing her and then drying her. It takes forever with a blaster. So I'll keep the camera. Hopefully you can see. So I'm going to make sure the coat's tight, always follow the coat. I'm going to save this off. So keeping the coat nice and tight so you can't catch any of the skin. I'm going to follow the coat so where it goes down her back, the clipper goes down her back, it goes over the side, the clipper goes over the side. But be careful of little titties, a little fluff of skin in here. Be really careful with that with the clipper, especially if you're not used to doing your dogs. I'm just going to lightly run it down there. At the minute I can't see what I'm doing. I'm doing it for you for the camera. So when it comes to the bits that um, are a bit more dangerous, I'll turn so I can see what I'm doing rather than what you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to run it down her side into her tummy area. Cities are underneath there. This is another naughty poodle. So don't be surprised if you see her bouncing around in a minute. There are lots of them around. <laughs> Little naughty things. So we're going to go just down the top of her leg for a minute. So that's where she's going to start misbehaving. And between her legs, nice and gentle. I'm not putting any pressure on this clipper. It's just sliding the hair off. Obviously, if you're going to buy clippers, and do your own dogs, you will have to maintain your blades, which perhaps we need to do a video for that too. Just a very basic one. So now I've just got my hand under her tummy, just trying to keep her up. She's got a lead on, so she can't fall off the table. And then that way, that's that little fluff of skin there. You need to be really careful with that. So I'm just going to put my finger on it for a minute. So I know my clipper's nowhere near it. And I'm just going to run down the edge of her leg. If she was lighter, she'd probably have a bit of colour on her by now, wouldn't she? <laughs> Not just that stick and be blue. These could have been blue too. She's a bit dark. I'm just going to take that off the side. Slip her nice and flat. And down to her little boots. So I don't think you can see her back leg there. So just to the top of her hock. So that she can have her little pom-poms. They are a little. Shave that to there. You can see her tummy is all still messy. I'm not going to run the 7F across there because we could catch her. So we'll do that with a comb attachment. Much safer. Obviously, when you're doing these things, you've got to think of the safety for the dog more than anything else. At this time as well, where there are no vets open, if you're going to try this for the first time, you really need to be extra careful. There are no vets in this create an emergency. So on the neck here, give her back a little bit. Still got a collar on just so I can hang on to it. I'm just holding that skin up because down here look it's all loose. I'm gonna hold just hold that skin up and then take it down the front of her chest to the front of her leg. And then exactly the same as on the other leg, just gonna pull it down to her elbow. This is where we'll start having a bit of naughtiness and dancing out, so we'll do that. And I've got two hands on her in a second. I'm just whipping off most of the coat, because these are the bits she doesn't mind. So back on this side, and a bum, leave her tail. If she's going to have a poodle pom tail, she can't really, she's got a long tail. So generally they have a little flag. Occasionally I trim off the top bit, look you can see an inch which I would have tend. That's more for hygiene as well, so that she doesn't get a dirty bottom. And again, we're just going to come down this back leg on the flat bit for the hop. And nice and gentle off the front of the leg. The front of the leg's quite phony, it's a bit uncomfortable for the dogs. 
having a whirring seven f going over it so a nice gentle touch then i'm at the bit here which is a bit dangerous so i'm just going to run my clipper straight down so that i'm not touching that fluffy bit of skin i'm generally doing is put my hand over it and hold it up so it's out of the way always make sure you clip in the same way as the hair and so we'll tidy that up with a comb attachment at the end it doesn't look very tidy at the minute and that's most of the bulk of her body sorted apart from these front legs which she's going to be naughty for so i'm just going to take this neckline up a little bit further too so we'll pop her collar off so she's only got one right her neck and i am going to take hers up can't quite see her up to the foot, which is here because she's a much taller, slimmer dog, whereas Heather has hers a little bit lower. Just going to move the collar. I'm going to get both sides of it. I'm just going to put that around her neck. And hold her head up again so that she has got a flappy bit of skin under there. Keep the skin tight. And again this side. Just under her ear. And that way. It's a nice, nice tidy neck. I'm going to pop that back up. So I need to, be able to hang on to her in a second because we need to do her legs which she doesn't like. So just gonna hang on to the foot lightly. I'm just gonna come down it. Not her favourite bit. Yeah. Really done before she even starts to create. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to get that bit off the chest. I'm not going to shave up there with this big clipper because that's where the skin has a little flap. We'll do that with an arc here in a second. We've got a dog that just stands still. Not so bad, is it? So I'm just going to swap to an okay, on a ten blade because that's much safer for doing armpits. Stop. I'm just going to hold that tight. You've got that flap of skin there. Just going to hold it tight and go inside the flap so that we can clear our armpit. I don't recommend customers doing this to their dogs. This piece of skin will tear. Generally, it needs stitches if that happens. So you're better off just giving that a good brush. Making sure it doesn't get knotty. So watch is up. I'm just gonna skin this arco around her tummy and do her hygiene. So you wouldn't do that with a ten blade. Look at the difference in teeth in this. Much narrower, much tidier clipper. When you look at the teeth on that, they're really wide. A bit more nasty looking. I'm just going to do the same with this armpit. Just going to take the armpit hair out. Just because she doesn't like this as much. So I'm just going to do armpit hair with a 10 blade on the RK. Yeah. Just pop her back towards you. And then I've just perhaps turned it down to the line. I'm just going to tidy up the inside. And back of that leg, just because she doesn't really like the big clipper. And yeah, so we're just going to change back to the 7F and just skim that down there, just so it's not as short as the 9 and 10. Stop. She's sitting down, so isn't she? Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Her. We're nearly ready. That's all nice and tidy, all nice and short. We might as well just shave her face. Feet I only did the other day, so we probably won't shave her feet Back again today. We'll see. It's quite hard to see on a little black dog, isn't it? Exactly the same as we did for Heather. We're just going to go corner of the eye, corner of the ear. Let's see if the sun's come out. 
with a 10. Top of the nose. Be careful of that flapper skin. One the eye, one here, Adam's apple. So we're going around again. And then over the bridge of the nose, you can go the wrong way on a poodle face. This is only a 10 blade, they don't really have much shorter than that. Obviously if you 10 the wrong way, it makes it shorter. Yeah. Now the sun come out, can't see a thing what I'm doing. I'm going to pull that bit of skin back and just do that bottom lip. Yeah. Yeah, always holding on to the dog so you're not clipping away and the dog's moving around. Tongue is a bit of a problem there, look. We're never up to the front with the tongue flapping. I'm just holding our tongue out of the way. That way we know we can't catch him. If you've got a dog's tongue, it will bleed forever. It's got uh, lots of blood vessels in it. So, a bit tidier, not too much for that. Or feet, on the other hand, for her, is a bit more of a problem. Let's say they're not too bad because we only did them the other day. So might just have to tidy up the toes a little bit. Okay. And the back ones. Okay. Last one. We just tidied up around the toe because they don't need a proper shave today, which is good for her. She didn't like it. I know. I know. Really, she needs to get in the bath so we can finish her. So we'll be back.